Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'll be looking at 14.3 exponential modeling. 14.3 represents chapter 14, section 3 of the Pearson A level Master Pure Master 1 textbook. Ladies and gents, let's go through the key facts of this section. Firstly, let's have a look at the graph of y equal e to the power t. As t tends to infinity, e to the power t tends to infinity. As t tends to negative infinity, e to the power t tends to 0. Let's have a look at the graph of y equal e to the power minus t. As t tends to infinity, e to the power minus t tends to 0. As t tends to negative infinity, e to the power minus t tends to infinity. In general, as t tends to infinity, e to the power kt tends to infinity. As t tends to infinity, e to the power minus kt tends to 0, where k is a constant. Now, if y is equal e to the power g of x, then dy by dx is calculated by differentiating the power and bringing it down. So we've got g dash of x, e to the power g of x, the original power. dy by dx represents the rate of change of y with respect to x. These are all the key facts that we're going to be implementing within exam style questions for 14.3 exponential modeling. Here is exam style question 1. The number of people infected with a disease is modelled by the formula n equal 300 minus 100 e to the power minus 0.5 t, where n is the number of people infected with the disease and t is the time in years after detection. Part A, how many people were first diagnosed with the disease? So first diagnosed means the number of people calculated when t is equal 0. So when t is equal 0, we have n, the number of people, is 300 minus 100 e to the power minus 0 0.5 multiplied by 0. So we've got n equal 300 minus 100 e to the power 0. Hence n is equal 300 minus 100 multiplied by 1. e to the power 0 is 1. So we have n equal 300 minus 100 Hence, n is equal to 100. So, the number of people that were first diagnosed with the disease is 200 people. Part B, what is the long-term prediction of how this disease will spread? So, we're trying to work out what n tends to as t tends to infinity. Long-term prediction. Okay, so as t tends to infinity, firstly, we know that e to the power minus 0.5t tends to 0. Hence, as t tends to infinity, n will tend to 300 minus 100 multiplied by this tends to 0. So, 0. So, n tends to 300. We can conclude that up to 300 people will be infected. That there, ladies and gents, is the long-term prediction. Moving on to part C of exam style question 1. Sketch the graph of n against t for t is greater than 0. Ladies and gents, we've got that n is equal 300 minus 100 e to the power minus 0 0.5 t. I'm going to start by finding the equation of the n asymptote. So we have n asymptote. Now, if we look at this equation, the constant term on the outside is 300. So the equation of the n asymptote is n equal 300. Now I'm going to find the n intercept, the intercept with the vertical axis. So we are after the n intercept. To do this, I need to substitute t equal 0 into the equation for n. Hence, n is equal 300 minus 100 e to the power minus 0 0.5 times 0. This will give us n equal to 100. Now I must determine the shape of the graph. Okay, so I'm after the shape of the graph. Suppose this is the t-axis. e to the power t looks something like this. Again, suppose this is the t-axis e to the power minus t looks something like this. Suppose this is the t-axis, 
If I want minus e to the power minus t, I must take this graph and reflect it in the t-axis. So I'll get something that looks like this. So that there is minus e to the power minus t. Now I need to decide which one of these shapes this equation will take. Well, over here, we've got a negative e to the negative. So negative e to the negative will take on this shape here. So that there is the desired shape of the graph. So now I'm going to sketch the graph. I've got my vertical axis, which represents n, the number of people that are infected, and the horizontal axis represents t, the time. So we've got the n-intercept, which is n equal 200. And the n-asymptote is n equal 300. So we can label the asymptote n equal 300. Up to 300 people will be infected. And now we can sketch in the graph, which is this particular shape. So my graph will look something like this, for t is greater than zero. That there is the origin. Ladies and gents, this completes exam style question one. Let's have a look at exam style question two. The number of dead d in a population after t years is modelled by the formula d equal 1300 e to the power 1 over 8 t. Part A uses this model to estimate the number of dead after part 1, 0 years, part 2, 2 years, part 3, 30 months. Let's have a look at part 1. Ladies and gents, in part 1, 0 years represents t equals 0. So we're going to substitute t equals 0 into the equation for d. So we have d equals 1300 e to the power 1 over 8 multiplied by 0. Hence d is equal 1300. Let's have a look at part 2. 2 years means t equal 2. So now we substitute t equal 2 into the equation for d. So we've got d equal 1300 e to the power 1 over 8 multiplied by 2. Okay, so we can put this into our calculator and we get 1,669 to the nearest integer. Okay, so I can write nearest integer. Part 3, 30 months. Okay, now t is measured in years, so we have to convert 30 months into years. So we've got 30 divided by 12, which is 2.5 years. Okay, so now we substitute t equal 2.5 into the equation for d. So we have d equal 1300 e to the power 1 over 8 multiplied by 2.5. Ladies and gents, we can put this into our calculator and we get d equal 1777 to the nearest integer. Okay, so we've used the model to estimate the number of days after zero years, which is 1300, two years, which is 1,669, 30 months, which is 1,777. Let's have a look at part B. Use your answer to part A, part 1, to interpret the meaning of the constant 1,300 in the model. So that d equals 1,300 was calculated when t is equal 0. So 1,300 is the initial day population. That there is the interpretation in context. Let's have a look at part C of exam style question 2. Show that after 8 years the deer population is growing by approximately 440 deer per year. The word growing indicates a rate of change. We are trying to calculate the rate of change in the population of deer with respect to time after 8 years. Right, let's first of all differentiate D with respect to T. Okay, so we can differentiate the power with respect to t. So 1 over 8t differentiates to 1 over 8. So we have 1 over 8 multiplied by 1300 e to the original power, 1 over 8t. So if we simplify this, we have that the rate of change of d with respect to time is equal to 162.5 e to the power 1 over 8t. So now we can substitute t equal 8. So we can calculate the rate of change of the population of there with respect to time when t is equal 8. So we've got 162.5 uh, e to the power 1 over 8 multiplied by 8. Okay, so if I put this into my calculator, I get 
441.72 dot dot dot. Ladies and gents, this over here is equal to 440 to two significant figures as required. So after eight years, the deer population is growing by approximately 440 deer per year, as shown over here. This completes part C of exam style question two, and this teaching video 14.3 exponential modeling. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.